Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Leaf Green, my final flying run. I suppose it's been a while, but it's time to get our way, make our way through the rock tunnel. And thankfully we have, you know, Cutter here that knows Flash, so I don't have to put on a Pokemon I actually want to use in battle, really, you know? Because let's face it, Flash is definitely not a particularly great move to have. Don't get me wrong, it comes in handy, but... Ugh. It's definitely not the best move of its type. Sand attacks far better. Ugh. And even then, I'd rather confuse an opponent than blind them. And double teams better in its own way, too, on the grounds that, you know, it makes you more evasive, so they're less likely to hit you, instead of lowering the stats of one of your target Pokémon. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let Batman run up front for a little bit. That way we can try and, um, power him up a bit here, through, um, shared experience. Yeah, having, um, other stuff would be more helpful, probably, but let's face it, if I can get Zubat up to snuff, It'll definitely come in handy. It's just getting it there as the pain. Um, so let's face it, Crobat helped me out a lot when I was doing my Mono Poison run. A lot. So I definitely owe Batman the favor of at least trying to get some use out of him. Well, at least Monarch got a level up, I guess. Honestly, I might potentially be able to take down Slowpoke with um, Zubat. I say potentially, because I don't think it's going to be easy. Slowpoke at this point would probably no confusion, which means it can really hit me hard. Um, so yeah, switching out is probably the better part of Valor here, just for the sake of um, convenience. The question is who to switch into. Yeah, I'll go with Nefertina. I'm pretty sure it knows a dark type attack, so I can try and abuse it here a little bit. I don't think it'll help much, but you never know. Jeez, I might do about as much damage with Peck, to be honest. Um, Peck. I really need a better flying attack. Like, um... Wing attack. Aerial ace. Something, you know? Poor Nefertina just doesn't get much in the way of good offensive moves until it learns Drill Peck. And that's so late in the game. Once it has it, it just starts to shred opponents, but until then... It's a bit of a struggle. And yeah, we're gonna leave Zubat out in front. Even if we're not in battles, because I can still swap in real quick. Though, we might want to just avoid this one. Since, you know, it's Geodude, and Geodude can just wreck this team. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, I missed an item. Oh, well. I don't care that much. Yeah, this way. There might be items off to the side, but we have to go past this guy. And his, um, Slowpoke. Because they didn't really change out the, um, teams too much between, um, the remakes. It makes sense, I suppose. It's a remake, so you don't want to change things too much. It would upset the longtime fans that played those games and wanted to revisit them with a bit of extra flair, you know? Probably should have went with Pidgeotto. At least then I'd have, um, wing attack to fall back on. Though that growl is definitely annoying. Here, let me give you some pursuits, then. Not that you're gonna switch out and take super damage from it. But at the very least, it's not gonna be affected by all the growls it's dropping on me. Ooh, a water gun. <sighs> that, that wasn't too bad. Minor damage, mostly... Just waste his time growling at me pointlessly. I don't know why it's growling so much. It's not very intimidating. Like you don't look at Slowpoke and be like, "Oh gosh, it's growled at me. I gotta run away." <laughs> Darn hiccups. Oh yeah, Junior Trainer. Another Geo dude. Crap. I was hoping for a Zubat. I mean, Zubat's not any good or anything, but... <sighs> as as a, a target, let's face it, Zubat's got too many weaknesses with its poison flying typing, but once you evolve it and get to like, Gold Better Crobat, it starts to get good. But before it evolves, complete crap. It just eats a time. It's not worth enough experience to make up for it, man. Uh, let's see, Supersonic. Great, we missed. Well, now, 
I'm guessing it's gonna use Absorb. Oh, Sweet Scent? Well, I wasn't trying to evade your attacks in the first place. Seriously, is that all you know? Is like powder moves and sweet scent? Good. Mail obliges me by punching itself. Or I guess kicking itself since it doesn't have hands. Or does it just bring the leaf down on top of its head and like bam right to the face? Darn it. It's poison typing means my bug attacks aren't as effective as they could be. And the fact that he's putting me to sleep is pretty darn annoying. Come on. Wake up, Batman. Ah, pointless. Okay, let's get Monarch in there then. At least that way I can just drop a confusion on it. So he doesn't go for a sleep powder automatically. Okay, let's try and take you down. I mean, I guess I could have technically used one of the flyers, too. You know, that's more bird-based, but screw that. Let's go with the Butterfree. A Bulbasaur, huh? I guess I could technically use Charmander here, but... I've been holding off on using it for battles until I evolve it into Charizard. Still gonna have to find time to work on leveling it up, though, at some point. Um, let's see, who we want to use? Go with Phoenix. Phoenix hasn't been out in a while, let's face it. Hasn't been used yet this episode, so it deserves a chance to shine, man. You're gonna try and vine whip my Zubat. What are this wrong with you? Like, vine whip doesn't do jack squat to Zubat, it's poison flying. Like, you're gonna have to hit with a headbutt or something. Or a tackle attack. I mean, when you're playing with these Melotines, you really have to consider, you know your move sets a lot more carefully. You don't want to have all of one type of move, because then you reach something that's resistant to it, you'll basically get walled hard, just because you can't break through its defenses, because, you know, it resists your attacks so much. I mean, there are people that play purposely that way, like, they'll just let the opponent throw their weakest attacks at their targets. Uh, that extra challenge, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to do that to yourself. It's just frustrating and makes the battles longer. I mean, unless you're playing a stall wall team, that's probably not going to work too well for you. I mean, I guess it's sort of like when people play um, Final Fantasy VIII and don't level up or something. You know, there's just a certain appeal to it that it's hard for me to grasp. I'm surprised he didn't see me. He must be really short range then. I'm honestly surprised he's letting me run away with a Pokemon that's passed out at the start of my team. You think he'd call me on my shenanigans and just go for the kill anyway? Um, let's see. Well, I think we'll cut right in front of this hiker. I could avoid these battles here, but you know what? I think this route's a bit shorter. We can avoid some random encounters, which would be sort of nice because, gosh darn, I'm getting tired of them. Though we do have to play um, a risky game with this um, Geodude now. But I think we can do alright here. I'm hoping it doesn't hit me with a rock thrower off the back, because that would just ruin my day. Mud Sport? Why does so many ground Pokemon know that move and then use it? It doesn't help you. You're already immune to electric attacks. It's a meaningless gesture. Like, seriously. It makes no sense when they do it, like, whatsoever. Like, let's use Mud Sport, but I'm already immune to electric attacks. Do it anyway, Pokemon. Do it anyway. But it's a waste of time. Like, it doesn't matter. You're doing it. I, it just boggles my mind how many Pokemon that have that move are immune to electric attacks anyway, so it's useless to them. Like, if it was in the hands of a water Pokemon, I would get it. Ugh. <sighs> But not, you know, a ground type. Like, god darn it. I'm not. I know exactly where I'm going. Ooh, an Onyx. Fast, but still ugly. Um, 
Let's see, Pokemon. I may not do any more switch ins and switch outs this battle. Because I know Onyx probably has some rock throws in it at least by now. And I only want to take so many um, risky moves in a battle, you know? Because if Monarch gets hit with rock throw, it's pretty much going to be over for her. For... Ah, darn it. <sighs> Switching out to get rid of the Screech might be helpful. Let's end this. Okay, that takes care of Onyx. Okay, another Onyx. Nah, I'm gonna leave Monarch out there. Sleep Powder. Okay, now then. Try and tear this thing a new one while it's asleep. Oh, it's confused and asleep now? And it woke up again? Gosh darn it. That wasn't part of the plan. But I think we're gonna rely on Monarch for Erica, maybe just because of its um super resistance. That would be a definite plus that battle. Well, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the f two birds could definitely tear through Pokemon, especially Phoenix with wing attacks. But I guess it depends on how many um, stats conditions you have to inflict on me in one point in the battle too. Well, that could definitely change things up. Stas effects can definitely screw you. Hard. <sighs> Ooh, an escape rope. That's nice. Could we have avoided this? Yes. Well, I like to avoid the random encounters in this place. Definitely. Lucas, huh? Well, no. We're gonna have to do a swap in. Hopefully, I'll waste his first turn on Mud Sport. Ah, darn it. That hurt. Um, let's get the sleep powder out there. Definitely don't want to swap in the Monarch anymore. That rock throw pretty much blew that plan out of the water. I keep forgetting how weak Geodude's um, special defense is here. Okay. Nah, use your Graveler. I'm gonna make Gravel out of it, man. Good, didn't fail. That's the one thing I do have to worry about, because Sleep Powder's not 100% accurate. So if it misses, I'd be in a tough spot. Okay, that takes care of Graveler. I guess I can check and see if I got a super potion on hand. You yield, huh? Well, of course you yield. You got nothing left. Um, let's see. I do have one, five super potions, sorry. The ones for the escape rope. Jeez. There, I got enough points to probably pull off a switch in. At least into a Geodude. I know there's at least one or two more battles coming up. Uh, of course she spied me. Yeah, you can do that, or you can leave marshmallows behind, though I imagine the animals would probably eat those. Um, it is free food, after all. Or you could scratch the trees like um, Balto does, though that would probably kill them. So I suppose that's one of those things you do if you um, are in a situation where it's life or death, and you're like, I need to make sure I know where I'm going. Um... I'm willing to kill a tree to do it. Disable? I haven't used an attack yet. I mean, how can you disable me without me having used a move? It's a bit late for that. Um, if you're so heavily injured from that last one, no way you're gonna stand up to another dose, you know? Okay. That's a chump change in terms of experience. Um, screw it. The switching is eating up way too much time. 
I'm running out of patience for it. Man, that poor Pidgey. Just didn't stand a chance, man. Well, that takes care of Pidgey. A Meowth, huh? Hmm. Not one of the best out there. Persian was once a contender. Not so much anymore. Um. When Persian was good, it was really good. Mostly because of how um, broken the critical hit system used to be. Okay. Oh yeah, that guy uses two G dudes and a Graveler. Um, in the yellow run, I got lucky and I was able to set up some. Jeez, set up some double teams and stuff to avoid a bunch of self destructs. Don't really have that much going for me right now. Um, we'll have to just bash it down with confusion and put the Graveler to sleep. At least I hope we can put it to sleep. And take it down that way. I can probably beat your power. That's not gonna be the problem. It's um doing it, you know, quickly that'll be the issue. Oh, Dudley do right, huh? Or are you um Harry Potter's cousin? Which kind of Dudley are you anyway? Evil Dudley or good Dudley? It's hard to tell with the Pokemon battles. You know, you have to challenge everyone you come across just to make cash, you know? In order to buy those potions, you gotta fight other trainers, because, you know, you obviously bet on the outcome of battles. How else would you get money out of them? <laughs> and yet they thought they took all the gambling out of this game when they got rid of the game corner. <laughs> Such fools they are. And that leaves Graveler. I guess it wants to put me in the grave and then cover it over with a lair, you know, of dirt. But I won't let it. Okay, time to tear you a new one with some confusion attacks. Shoot, it woke up too fast. That's not gonna do jack squat, man. You can't use a ground attack on a flying Pokemon. It's impossible. I'm off the ground, man. You can shake the earth all you want. It won't affect me. Outsmarted? Well, that's not too hard when you're so dumb. I guess you are Dudley Do-Right. He wasn't very bright. Noble guy, not very smart. Um, honestly, you can probably have it, because I just don't really care that much for it. I mean, I'm not going for capturing them all, after all. Gosh darn it, it's another slowpoke. Um... I don't think I'm gonna be able to put this thing to sleep. It's pretty dopey, so I imagine it stays awake from all sleep attempts. At least that's what I would assume it can do. Darn it! It's shred my attack stat. But we still managed to get it, you know. But now I'm going to have to swap. Okay, well, we'll go back to Nefertina then. We'll just pursue our way to victory. <sighs> At least I don't have to worry about Growl. I don't know why he spammed it so gosh darn much. Like, every Slowpoke we've fought so far just loves to Growl at us. Makes no bleeding sense in my mind. I mean, it doesn't help if you just do nothing but growl. I mean, you have to use some attacks, too. Like, have your um, Slowpoke curse itself to buff its defense, then. I mean, at least that way I can't take it away unless I have, you know, Haze or something. <sighs> okay, more pursuits. Well, ah, I set you up for a fall. <sighs> and plus, when it does use Growl on Nefertian, it makes no sense because I'm pursuing your sorry butt, so it's a special attack. <sighs> We're off using Amnesia to raise your special defense two stages. I mean, not that that Slowpoke knows it, but still would have been more helpful. <sighs> At least we're almost done with this cave. 
And of course, there's a rock here to stop me from cutting out of that fight. Uh, you just aren't worth dealing with, man. Oh, still enough distance. Okay, gotcha. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go past you. <sighs> but what kind of white Pokemon could be in here that'd be a real interest to you? And you're gonna get a Mankey? Or, I'm sorry, a Monkey? Um, or a Kimon? Yeah, I know, I have to make that reference to Final Fantasy X-2 all the time, but let's face it. That line should be infamous and known everywhere. They remind us that the characters in Final Fantasy X are not very bright and can't tell that two parts of the word key and ma should be combined together to make bunky. So let's face it, they don't exist in the digital universe where a keymon probably does exist. And I'm sure it does, and if it doesn't, someone should invent it. Okay. Probably should hit with sleep powder, but I figured we could kill it in one blow. The level cap's just too much at this point. Still doesn't know a flying attack, so forget that. If it did, I'd be more inclined to use it right now. Since then, I could just smack this thing with its wing attack and be done with it. Like this. <sighs> Hopefully, Golbat will do better for itself. <sighs> Darn it, trying to fight off a yawn there. But at least we're out, finally. Okay, and we're in the town. And there, kicks on the creepy music. Okay, now I'll go face off against our rival and get that taken care of. And then we'll be um, free to go to Celadon City next time. <sighs> Sadly, I can't use Eevee. He doesn't have a flying form yet. Maybe that's a new form of Eevee they can work on. A flying Eevee. I mean, they're running out of Eevee Lucians. It doesn't feel like a proper gen unless you get a new one. Um, in my opinion. It's like just the thing that needs to happen. We need a new Eevee. It'll probably have to be a really crazy Eevee, but an Eevee nonetheless. Um, let's see. We'll start off with Phoenix. We'll battle Pidgeotto with Pidgeotto to start off with. Because <sighs> I'm just feeling like that should be what we do. Which seems to imply at least one of his Pokemon's dead, which is why he's here. Yeah, he's probably drunk. Because my Pidgeotto is obviously superior. Oh, going for a quick attack, huh? Well, here, let me show you my power. Damn quick attacks. They're starting to add up with the pain a bit. <laughs> you won't win just by hitting me with wing attacks, man. Oh, I'm sorry, quick attacks. Jeez. Growlithe, huh? Hmm, let's see. Guess we'll go with um, Monarch. After all, the whole setup here is for confusion for the most part right now. Yeah, definitely have the speed edge. Sleep powder. Now it's taking a dirt nap. Let's try and blow our way through its um, special defense here. Yep, not gonna wake up in time. Not unless he wants to go for some healing. Yeah, I thought not. Uh, Batman might stand a chance against Execute. I mean, he might have psychic powers, but you know, we don't always go for a bite attack here. And we're close enough in levels, this might work out in my favor. Keyword on might. I wouldn't be surprised if he manages to turn the table on Batman. With a nice, well-placed leech seed or something. But I'm surprised he managed to make it flinch 
three times in a row. That's pretty darn lucky, Batman. <sighs> oh, a critical hit for the finishing move, too. Damn. That execute just got screwed over by luck, man. Definitely not using you. Let's face it, Batman's not got the speed to keep up with Kadavra. <sighs> and all it's going to take is one psychic blow, and boom, Zubat's done for. I think we can take advantage of its glass jaw, though. Disable, huh? Well, that's a minor annoyance, to be honest. I mean, at that point, Kadabra was dead anyway. Kadabra really should not use moves like Disable, it should go straight for the kill. Wasting time on that stuff is just gonna get you hurt, man. Because Kadabra's got, you know, that glass jaw, it's, it's not gonna take physical attacks very well at all. So you go straight for the finishing move, like right off the bat. <sighs> well, now War Charles in a deep dream state. I guess it's time to rip it apart. Which means my regular attacks only do about half that. Well, so we don't heal, we can finish him here. I guess he didn't bring any healing items. Unusual. Our maid just doesn't like using them, I guess. I prefer to avoid them too when I'm doing the Elite Four if I can, but sometimes it's unavoidable depending on the team. Easy, huh? Hmm. <laughs> well, you can always just evolve your Cubone if you level it up. That's what I would do. Well, that'll do for this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.